hello, hello, hello. So, obviously, it's not first thing in the morning, but I finished a ton of yard work, only only a few dings, <laughs> and um, I spirit has been so active today that I just felt the need to come on and do this again. I'm gonna use this for the morning video. Um, I've also got uh, just hit the ground running kind of morning. Um, but but still, I get up early enough, I can still do it. But for some reason, I'm feeling compelled that I need to do this right now. So I feel like there are also some messages coming through. Hi, everybody. I'm Holly. I'm a psychic medium. And thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. If so inclined, please subscribe and like the video. You don't have to. You have free will. Speaking of which, this is a general reading. And I am just an old-fashioned psychic and medium and that means I read energy and that's why I feel compelled to come on now because the energy is moving fast and I feel like there's a message coming through. Um, I do use cards for these readings because they are general and I'm not a trained card reader but I know what I know and I just use it as an opportunity and, and to jump off a point uh, to let spirit take over and by spirit I mean guards and guide, guide, guards, guide, hold on. I'm having a dyslexic moment. <laughs> uh, guardians and guides. There we go. I was splicing words. Okay. Um, and no, seriously, I sometimes, I, you know, never diagnosed, but I do think I have a little bit of dyslexia. It's kind of, it's, I flip things sometimes verbally. Um, so, and, and there are a lot of different forms. Anyway, blah, blah, blah. Um, okay. So, what is going on? What is going on? What is going on in the collective? The energy is buzzing and crackling. Um, I know in this morning's video, it was brought up that the energy is shifting and we are getting ready to move into an action phase. And I, I'm almost breathless. So I don't know who this is for. I don't know what it's about, but something is, we are on the verge of turning a corner, okay? So just be ready, but it feels positive and exciting, okay? Like there's something exciting coming. Speaking of which, radiate positivity. I got this yesterday at Big Lots. How cool. Anyway. Which also means it was $5. Okay. So it's time to, since we're in an action mode and it's Year of the Dragon in Chinese astrology, um, I don't know, is it all Asian astrology or just Chinese? I think it's just Chinese. Um, Year of the Dragon. So we're going to use the Dragon Oracle cards and the Dragon Riders Oracle. I use these together because I feel like they're the reading is a little different with them, and I think I need one or the other to validate one or the other. Um, they're saying hold off. They're saying hold off. They're saying there's a message. There's a message. There's a message. Okay. And I need to clarify this. Um, just because someone has abilities, um, whether they've worked professionally or not, and I did for years, um, I still do a few things here and there. Um, it doesn't mean we walk around and open channel and we know everything about everyone all the time. No, it's, it's not like that because we don't want to, and that's invasive. So, you know, we, we intentionally, with the intention of tapping in. Now, sometimes if I'm just walking down the street and someone walks past and it's like, oh, you know, you, it hits you like a ton of bricks or a smack in the face and you can't help but know something about that person. And usually it's something you don't want to know. Uh, and sometimes it is, n n nice nicely enough, it is sometimes wonderful and good information. All right, we're, we're four minutes in and I'm still rambling. Um, what is the message? What is the message, spirit guides and guardians? I feel like this is Metatron coming through. Metatron. The energy you feel is the intensity of it alerts you to the fact that there is a, a ripple effect a domino effect, a cause and effect of the things you have put into motion coming into fruition. However, do not feel rushed to understand the why, when, or how.
you will know the right time to take action. You will know the right time to move. You will know the right time to step forward. Stand in your strength and always be ready in the wholeness and totality of who you are, and that is all you need. Everything else is simply an unfolding of events. What seems like stumbling blocks in front of us really are not. They are only learning tools to slow you down, to make you see the truth of a situation. Sometimes it is as a warning. Sometimes it is to help you to understand the beauty in something that is in front of you if you were to rush past without looking. That is the phrase she is thinking this now. Stop and smell the roses. She does love roses. Yes, that is exactly, that is exactly the message. Even though in this frenzied, seemingly frenzied, just surge of action and energy, understand that we are with you, try to be patient. And this is merely the acknowledgement that there is more to come. So I guess uh, me being in my humanness, I'm like, yeah, let's hurry, 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 go, go, go. And it's like, pull your jets. We got it. It's coming. That was just your little, that was just your little heads up. Uh, Give me moment, but don't get ahead of yourself. Oh, don't get ahead of yourself. That's the message. Okay. All right. Now we can move on. You know, I'm going to save the dragon cards. I don't, I don't feel like using those quite yet. Oh, all right. Yeah, no, I'm fine. It's just... Hey, my poor elbow. I did a lot of work. More yesterday than today, but still a lot today, too. Okay. Um, Spirit of the Animals Oracle. Okay. Uh, you know how I love this one. And it opened up in the center, quite obviously. Coyote, revealer of truth. Don't take things too seriously. <laughs> I think that's what Metatron was just trying to tell us. Cool your jets and smell the roses, right? Uh, don't take things too seriously. Make time to play. Great wisdom comes from laughing at your own folly. Uh, look out for the traps and tricks of life and learn from them. That is exactly everything you just said. That one I recall more than I usually do, so I'm grateful for that. Thank you. Um, and I'm sorry it's kind of loud, yeah, but oh well. As long as you can hear me. All right, and I just dropped those. Now I gotta get up, okay. They went flying pretty far away, and I'm, okay, one of them I do need to get, hold on. I'm sorry, hold on. Yes, I have a fountain, but I didn't, it's a little small fountain. I didn't turn it on though, because I thought it would be too loud. Okay. Um, there are two that here that I need to I need to bring up. <laughs> Friend of mine, this will make sense for you. Raccoon. <laughs> what was the raccoon trying to tell you this morning? Inventor. Hmm. Decide on what you really want. You have the ingenuity to claim it. Avoid being the trickster and practice integrity. Oh, you always have integrity. Um, you have many roles and can juggle them well. Yeah, do a lot of juggling. Okay, so, and notice these raccoons are in a tree. Hmm. Um, you have the ingenuity to claim it. That is an interesting thing. Okay. I feel like there's a message for a whole lot of people in that one line. If you've thought about starting your own anything, business, hobby, Again, I'm getting the same thing I got the other day about, a oh wow, there's a huge hawk just flying by. Hello, how you doing? Thank you. Um, pretty low, too. Um, I see someone with herbal concoctions and tinctures and creams and body creams and lip balms and getting into, I'm hearing, holistic medicine. 
All right, and the other card is sea otter, happiness. And look, there's a little puffin. We had puffins earlier, or late, one, one day. I don't know when. Uh, <laughs> I wouldn't know what those birds were <laughs> if I hadn't had the puffin card already. Um, be the master of playful living. You got to do what makes you happy. Uh, release expectations and enjoy every day. Ooh, that is hard to do. Let worry go and instead choose love. Surrender to the waves. Your good destiny of love is sure. Surrender to the waves. Okay. All right. So, and radiate positivity. Well, the later in the day it gets, the goofier I guess I'm getting. So, all right. Now, those were lovely. And I guess they did fall for a reason. I guess I did need to review them. All right, let's get into a general reading for everyone. Let's do a general reading for everyone. Well, 11 minutes in, and oh, I'm sorry. Oh, right, I look right at my nose. Um, 11 minutes in, and we've covered a lot of ground. So Metatron gave a channeled message. We had some animal cards with messages. Somebody is going to go into holistic medicine and be a naturopath. Or an, not even an herbalist so much, but a naturopath. I know it's intimidating to think about the training involved in that, but you know what? You can do it. I think I know. I know at least one person that I personally know that would be excellent. Huh. But not quite a traditional natural path in the way that people would go and you would do the what is that what is that it is some it's a combination of for a while it would be a side business and I'm not going to call it a side hustle because it would be something you would love doing it's a side business of energetic work where you tap in, you figure out what's going on, and then you can say, but of course everybody would have to sign disclaimers and whatever, because it would all be just, you know, um, more psychic work than anything, as well as energy work, um, which those credentials, the person I'm thinking of already has. But I know there are a number of you who are way into the homeopathy remedy homeopathic remedies but diet is coming up again this came up before someone's looking at training or classes or working with people with health and nutrition particularly for their bodies or body of course for the bodies but for their body type and then also some on the herbal end but more in the tea mixtures like dried herbs not so much homeopathy like the distilled down I keep wanting to say elixir, 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 so if that resonates. Um, this big old bumblebee over there. Um, but intuitive work that could be done remotely with an energetic healing involved with a direction of what to look for and then a suggestion for either a stone to wear or and, and uh, uh, Devin Baker is on my resource list she does something similar to that but not quite it does it's not involved in the energy work it's more of a uh, looking in with the message from guardian guide goddess whatever um, but this is different this would be health based energy work attached with a suggestion for something for you to find and take internally or wear on you. That's cool. I like it. All right. I like it a lot. Okay. So, um, all right. We are moving on. We are moving on. The other, the unfolding path tarot. Okay. That's what we're looking at. All right, the book is in there upside down, so I need to redo that. Okay. Now, let's see, we need to reach out for the collective. So I think there's a huge number of you who are interested, because it's not just for one person. I think that was specifically for uh, a very, very uh, small group in the collective, but I do feel like there's quite a few in this community, and thank you, 
um, there are quite a few in this community that are either involved in, have been involved in, or plan to get uh, reacquainted with holistic practices. And this card, when I was shuffling and doing a pretty bad job of it, this one jumped up sideways. The strength card. So it's almost like it's this is just validation. This is just validation for something you already felt in your gut but you weren't sure about. Okay. It's kind of scary to put yourself out there again or put yourself out there at all. So uh, if you're unsure where to start, offer, offer it uh, as a free service to friends and family until you kind of get your solid base of practice and your, your methodology down. Uh, always make sure people understand that if you are not a qualified medical professional, always do that first. Have people sign a waiver um, and tell them to always get checked out by a medical professional first before taking anything internally. I'm wearing a gemstone, I, I don't think you have a problem with. Um, and, um, and then from there you can move on to buy donation only and then from there go ahead and start up your practice in earnest. So that's the way a lot of people will start when they start even reading or doing whatever. All right, on to, thank you. What is the message for the collective? We need new messages now. What are the messages for the collectives? What's the message for everyone else? What is the message? Well, not necessarily everyone else. We have free will. These are general readings. What is the message for the collective? Okay. What is the message for the collective? Okay. I need to put that one aside because it was jumping out on its side as well. All right. We've got two that are down. Okay. All right. Whoa. Big cards, too. Major Arcana. So, Temperance. Well, actually, I think Judgment came out before Temperance. Judgment and Temperance. And then we also have Eight of Cups, Wheel of Fortune, Nine of Wands, or Five of Wands. Okay, so, one, two, three, four, five. We have five cards that came out. Three are Major Arcana. Okay, I'm gonna get spirit involved because I feel like there is something. I'm hearing inward journey, inward journey. Hold on, let's see. hearing that old 70s song it was always a goofy one that made me laugh I think it's a 70s song uh, and this it's, it's kind of sad really because the guy ties one on just totally blitzed out of his mind passes out somewhere wakes up and he's singing about mama told me not to come mama told me not to come um, and uh, I had a, a friend whose mom had the best sayings and one of them was nothing good ever happens after midnight so make sure you get yourself home um, it's that kind of thing so what's going on here someone's facing a temptation that's what it is someone is facing a temptation they know it's not good for them they want to do it anyway. But I believe good sense is going to win out. They're going to walk away. Putting on that hat and coat, walking away. Because of that decision, they're not finished with that yet. What is it? And it's not because of that decision. That was a turning point meant to happen for you to experience. To know that you have the strength to walk away from things that are not good for you. And the wheel is now about to turn in your favor. The wheel is about to turn 
and you are going to step into a tremendous amount of power. And I mean internal strength, wisdom, health, healing, knowing, everything. You are getting ready to step into your best life. The best life you've probably, the best years you've ever had. And you thought some of them before were pretty good. You're about to step into your centeredness. Five of Wands. Now, sometimes this card comes out and it's like having to, to do battle or defend yourself or, you know, taking on the fight. This is the sign of um, a pentacle, and which is the sign of the coins. The way this is coming through for me, and I'm going to ask Spirit to help and give me the words, is that it's actually a form of protection, like a... Um, like Wonder Woman, Wonder Woman holding her arms up with the bracelets, or if you're Catholic, doing the sign of the cross. Um, it's um, asking for divine intervention to step in. This is a sign in this reading, which is unusual, I think, for this card, but this feels like protection. You're worried that one, it could be too good to be true, two, are you doing everything the right way, and three, something about keeping up, something about keeping up. And I don't know in what way that means, so, and I, I'm, I'm supposed to leave this general like that and not dig into it and not ask any more questions, so okay. You interpret it the way you need to. This and the next two well, this and the, these two cards, that, that, this one and this one. I'm going to put them side by side. I think these are absolutely gorgeous cards. And there's so much strength and knowing that comes out of them. It is, it is as close as a card can get to showing the connection to the divine and all that is. So we have judgment. The white feathers and the eye, and the eyes that are that are without a pupil for the most part. They're so pale it all just kind of blends together. It is the light radiating out. You are seeing the truth. You are going to get a download, and you are going to understand where some of these fears and anxiety are coming from. And soon, with just as much knowing and sense of resolve as you did before about am I enough, you're going to have the resolve that you know exactly what to do with knowing and with understanding. You're also going to feel very supported by spirit. You're going to feel it. And you're, you're into, your intuitive abilities, your sensitivities are about to expand big time. In this reading, this card to me represents the balance of, of all things in life. Um, things are going to start coming together in your personal and professional lives or financial life. People's wellness. We're, we're okay. We are about to move into a phase where a lot of things can be manifest manifested really quickly and that includes healing so make sure you guard and watch your thoughts it's almost like what you you are calling things into being you are calling things into being understand that You have the ability to speak it and make it so. And that is happening now. Just make sure it's coming from a good place and with good intentions. What I'm, what I'm seeing and what I'm getting is that if it isn't, you're not, you're not gonna like 
what comes to you. Make sure it is for the highest truth. And with the best, and it's all about intention, and with the best of intentions, trying to step over on people or push them down to get where you need to go or manipulate or bend their will, that's, that's going to come back to bite in a pretty ferocious way. If you speak into being the highest and the best, that which comes from the truth of your heart, that which comes from love, love of humanity, love of yourself, love of all those around you, that will come into fruition and be supported and protected. And it just, wow. Wow. You have the ability to write right now to unlock, and in the coming days and weeks, you have the ability to unlock your own personal your own personal healing. I don't know how else to put that. And that means healing in all ways. Anything in your life that is out of balance, you can you can bring into balance. There we go. That's the statement. That's that's what they wanted me to say. Anything out of balance you can bring into balance. But don't question it. Simply believe that it's true. I know that's a, that's hard. All right, um, all right. Anything else? Anything? Ooh, yeah. Um, I brought this deck out. I got really pulled to it. The uh, Energy and Spirit Oracle by Sandra Ann Taylor. And I, you know, I absolutely adore her decks. But this one really jumped out at me when I was getting things ready to come outside today. And. So look at this one. Healing heart. If it, yeah. You can feel the difference between a clawing fear and the reality of wanting the best for yourself and others. There's a difference between wanting to manifest them something because of fear of lack or wanting to manifest something because it feels rewarding and full of love okay all right but uh yeah so this deck is really ooh, this one was jumping around personal guide guardian angel spirit family call on your personal guides if you're unsure get them involved okay let's see what else is coming out for the collective because this is going to be the final message for this this uh, session all right back in the deck so I'm gonna take it the force of love and creation it's in, in card 44 look at that divine presence that's what I feel I feel is surrounded by that how can you manifest anything negative in the presence of the divine and with that kind of loving light and energy around all right angels of the seven chakras so get balanced and get healed. Again, this notion of balance, balancing the chakras, balance in all things, balance in our lives, balance, coming into balance. What is out of balance will be brought into balance in the next few weeks. Actually days, maybe even hours for some, between this minute and the next few weeks. Freedom, moving on and letting go. This doesn't mean you're walking away from anything necessarily. It could for some, but what, especially difficult situations. But this feels more emotionally. Emotionally letting go of something that is not healthy. And the caged bird is flying free. Maybe that's why I saw that hawk earlier. Caged bird is flying free. Creating peace. 
and then family tree expansion and legacy you are surrounded by loved ones they will always be there and then teacher learning a new path I think this is validation of all of these are validation of different parts of messages throughout this video today and learning a new path teacher this goes along with that whole earlier thing about um, naturopathy holistic medicine starting a side business doing different things I'm telling you it's it's validation for that so you know if it's something you've been entertaining you don't have to give up your current job and wonder how you're going to pay the bills it's do it as a side business for a while and you may even do it for free for a while until you um, are comfortable charging you know uh, everything is an exchange of energy and I know that's true and I wish we could all do everything you know that's that's also part of why I'm not I don't have donation buttons up and stuff it's because I don't you know this isn't my primary means of it this isn't my means of income at all and so it's um, you know you will know when you're ready but for a lot of people it is how they support themselves and so everyone has a has a right to that um, it's a specialized skill that a lot of people work really hard at okay so when you are comfortable and at that point absolutely all right um, that's it for today and thank you for being here I can feel it's like waves of light and rolling waves of love it is truly it, it's it's a fulfilling wonderful feeling um, just remember and say this to yourself if you need to hear it again what is currently out of balance will come into balance because I make it so it is now in balance what was out of balance is now in balance thank you thank you thank you all right I am sending love to all of you and I hope you enjoy your day and I'll see you later.